Hey everyone, so it has been a really long time since I have put out a structured video and I promised you guys I would do one relatively soon. So I just got back from Maine um, a couple days ago, so actually two days ago, yeah, so it's a couple, and I wanted to do a video for you guys. And I was up in Maine, and if any of you are interested about how the trip was, um, it was so amazing. Um, if you don't know what I'm referring to, I went up to Colby College this past weekend to meet Marcy Bowers, who is the country's leading gender reassignment surgeon. And I have been obsessed with her ever since I met her. She is an amazing woman and I like cannot say enough good words about her. So I went to Colby College and it was a very intimate get together. Um, it was only probably, probably like 30 people in the room. Uh, which was really nice. I really enjoyed it. And she gave an amazing presentation for about an hour and a half. She was very funny, very informative. Um, I thought I knew a lot of information. She probably taught me like another third of information. Like a third of her presentation was stuff that I haven't heard before. So I learned so much and it was a fantastic, fantastic presentation and she's amazing. Um, and I got to speak with her afterward, which was really nice. And so I told her that one day I wanted to do my surgery and she said she would love to, so that was awesome. Um, and I did get a picture with her, so I will insert the picture right here. So it was really good to meet her and I was just so honored to like be in her presence and it was so awesome. <laughs> so um, yes, I wanted to update you guys about the main trip and it was great. Um, but today I want to talk about gender pronouns because it's something that, even though I feel like I'm, you know, not accomplished, but I feel like I've kind of gone through the transition and I am living as a woman, um, gender pronouns is still something that I have to deal with. And it's something that I literally just like can overcome um, and neither can like, you know, family or friends or whoever. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Plus, um, you know, the holidays are coming, so most of you are probably going to be seeing your family, friends um, that could know you as one gender versus the other. So I think it's a perfect time to be discussing um, these types of issues and gender pronouns in general because, you know, like I said, the holidays are coming up and it can get all kind of weird if your family and you don't really have the same pronouns for you. <laughs> so I still struggle with this. Um, I'm at school and everyone up at school here um, calls me she. What is, what is that noise? Please stop. So, back to what I was saying. I live at school and everyone up at school here calls me she. My friends, my professors, anyone that I meet in public, I am she. 100%, there's never a question. Um, thank God. <laughs> I am she 100% of the time and I love it. It's so amazing. Um, now I grew up in Connecticut and I, the people that I went to school with knew me as he. My friends from home, um, I say home, I don't live there anymore, but friends from where I grew up, um, parents of those people, oh my god, text, okay, um, teachers, you know, any, anyone in the community knew me as he. Even though they knew I was transitioning, they called me he. Um, same thing with my family. My family does the same thing. But yeah, while I was in Florida, my, um, pretty much my whole family, I have a very small family, but my cousin, um, my two grandparents, my mom were there, and they all call me by he. Now, here's the thing. They, my mom, they've always called me he, like, in, um, when referring to me. Like, when they're talking to friends or something, they'll call me he. Even down, like, my mom's friends, in her, our apartment complex area, sorry, it's really confusing, um, she refers to me as he. And then I get down there and she'll refer to me as she, every once in a while. Um, and when we're in public, she usually tries to refer to me as she. Um, however, that's not always the case. Sometimes it comes out he in public when I am dressed like this or even nicer because I'm pretty casual today. Um, and it is really, really awkward. And she's the one that I have the biggest problem with because she's my only, she's the family member that I see the most um, and that I'm out with the most, like in public and stuff. So her calling me he is actually very, very 
awkward and it's really a big concern of mine. And I've actually had to sit down and, you know, tell her, like, look, you need to stop. Like, I have been straightforward with her. I'm like, you know, you need to stop. Like, this can't happen anymore. You need to refer to me as she in public. Like, you have to. There's no other way around it. And she is not the kind of person who, you know, will refer to me, like, in the third person or something. She outwardly says he. She will outwardly say she. Like, she's very clear. And so when she's talking, she'll be like, oh, yeah, he, she will. And it's very awkward. Um, and I, like, get so angry at her. So, so, so angry. Like I said, I've literally had to yell at her at times because it's an issue and it's very embarrassing to me. And it's something that, you know, I told her that I was going to transition five years ago. She's known about this for, what, five, five years? Four years, excuse me. She's known about the fact that I was transitioning for four years. I've done it over a span of four years. So it's very hard for me to, you know, go home and have to deal with that because it is something that is, you know, a huge part of my life. And I hate it. Like, refer to me as she. Like, I mean, I, I understand for her, it's very hard for her because she's known me for, you know, 19, well, almost 20, 20 years as a boy. And now she can't refer to me that way. So, and I mean, it's the same for all parents. Like, everyone's going to have a hard time adjusting to it. But, ugh such an issue when she does it it bothers me so much um my grandparents the same thing my grandfather refuses to call me she um and that's actually a problem that has started to get worse and it's come to the point where I may or may not choose to stay in contact with my grandfather simply because he accepts it but he won't conform to what I want him to conform to if that makes sense like he won't you know call me a she you know, think of me as his granddaughter. Um, I have to shake his hand. I can't give him a hug. I have to shake his hand. So there have been times where I won't say goodbye to him or say hello to him because he wants me to shake his hand and I won't shake his hand. I refuse to. Um, I mean, some of you can call that, you know, respecting your elders or whatever, but you know what? Have some respect for me. This is how I want to live my life. So if you don't respect her, then I'm not going to respect you. Um, and that's pretty much how I live my life, you know? If someone's not going to respect me enough, then I'm not going to respect them to have them in my life. You know, family, friends, whoever, it doesn't matter to me. Um, this is who I am. This is who I've always been. You know what? Call me by the gender that I would like to be called by. Not because you're too ignorant to accept the fact that I am transitioning. Like, you have to get over that. <laughs> you know what? You've known about it. Um, and I'm sorry, it's just kind of turned into a rant versus... You know giving advice and everything but definitely give your family and friends time um because slowly but surely they will conform um and they will understand and they will hopefully call you by um your desired gender pronoun um and the good thing is if you don't live with your parents or you don't see them very often you know when you go off to college or if you're in college or if you live somewhere else alone um and you're full time or whatever people in society will refer to you as the gender that you want to be, you know, called. Um, like I said, I, I love being here at school because I'm she 100% of the time. No one's ever questioned it. And it's so, I mean, people know about it, but no one questions it. And I'm always she, which it's so nice. So actually, sometimes it's a pain in the butt to go home and it's stressful because I'm just like, oh God, like, oh, here we go again. Um, but it takes time. And Slowly but surely, my mom is changing, and um, I mean, I, I will never cut out my mom just because my mom and I are so very close. We have been for so long. She's my rock, you know. If anything happens, um, she's the person I go to, but it really is frustrating when she has a hard time calling me my desired gender pronoun. So that's difficult, um, but like I said, just give them time. Be patient with them. They're trying to be patient with you. Um, yeah, and then, you know, eventually down the line, you will be, oops, I just hit my light. <laughs> you will be um, called your gender pronoun of your desired gender choice. Nice, nice job there, just putting words together. Huh. So I hope this video helped. Um, like I said, it was kind of a rant. It was kind of, um, you know, more along my personal 
side, but um, yeah, just hopefully you got something out of this video and that will help you guys. And if you have any more questions about it, because I know sometimes I'm pretty vague, um, leave them in the comments below or feel free to send me a message here on YouTube um, with any questions or if you have any problems um, or I guess anything, I will try and help as best that I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you took something out of this mindless kind of rant slash video. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe and look forward to my next video. That was way, way too exciting. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.